Welcome to Reading the Game, the show where I read. Well, actually I'm sick so to still be able to make content and rest my voice I am transmitting my thoughts to this robot. So, where I read the game, you get to listen to the robot, I get one of my 10,000 and we all get to learn something about our favorite games. Yay! I know I said last time that we would read the other urban legend section but I would rather save that until I can physically read it so for now we will look at the singular page from the carnival. Can make fine silk. Low key the outfit the nugget gets for this one is super cute. It makes them look so small in the oversized jacket. The carnival people themselves look like they're horrific monsters. With the not allowing of AI we know that these were probably human once, just another day in the city I suppose. Let's see what they have to say. There are many important things to consider as a fixer, and attire is one of them. A fixer's attire is the most effective way to signify the image of an office. It's important for an office to show that it has formality and class, most offices have set a dress code for that reason. As much as it's necessary to choose the right attire according to the code, the most important factor is the fabric the clothing is made of. Quality fabric can offer better protection, lighten the wearer's weight for quicker movement, or allow the wearer to carry heavy weapons as large as their party. Those who create and provide such fabric are called tailors. We are tailors who consume people and make silk out of them. Whether it's melting people inside out belly and congealing them into a mold or it's unraveling humans into the thread they're really made of, the fundamentals do not matter. This technology doesn't originally belong to us. We merely took hold of a technology that came off patent when a wing was broken. The only thing that matters is that silk made from humans has strength that differentiates it from ordinary thread. Only those who crave it visit us. Cloth weaved from human silk possesses various powers depending on the human's strengths. Some humans may have a strong body, another may be fragile but wise and yet another may flaunt incredible speed. Since the silk reflects the characteristics of the human it was made from there are as many forms and powers of cloth as there are humans in this world. Therefore, there is more to being a tailor that simply weaving silk carefully. Picking the right people to meet the demands of the client is the most important. Hastily making silk out of a human that looks courageous on the outside might end up yielding useless cloth that does nothing but bolster courage, so one must be careful when picking the right material. Not every piece of fabric is accessible, however. It takes more than cash to purchase high-class fabric, one must earn the favor of the tailors first and foremost. Many tailors will only give their best fabric once the trust between them and their client has been established after complex turns of events. Because of that, tailors who make high-quality fabric usually belong to an organization and create cloth exclusively for them. But we were different. Until the index gave us a prescript, we did our work without taking orders from anyone, unchained to any syndicate or other organization. We were free, as some may call it. L8372-928, eat 15 sweepers and extract silk from them to make fabric. There are a few things in this that are interesting. Overall it's a deep dive into explaining where bad ass outfits come from, obviously they are made from people because what isn't in the city but, what I find interesting is that the fabric made by the carnival is described to be very similar to that of the key pages we use in the game. Which makes sense as they are both outfits that are made from people in the end. They don't mention which wing this patent was from so was it something from El Corp? Who knows? Thank you little robot friend for your help today and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed please consider giving a like and subscribing to the channel. Goodbye.